Let's go! Hello, family! Today is Saturday, April the 20th. My friends, another day the Most High has made. I'm your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with a weekend news update. Family, let's go! But first, guys, let us say thank you for tuning back in with us today. Your love and support of the channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And guys, if you can, could you give the video a thumbs up? And make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload an End Times video. Now, while we're an End Time News Channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our Creator and Father, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16, in which the Word of God says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Family, thank you Jesus for the cross. Where would we be without the cross, guys? Think about that for a moment. And before we get to our update, as always, family, if you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. Now, guys, to our weekend news update. Family, let's go! Alrighty guys, we're back with a weekend news update, and guys, this is going to be a quick update. We got three end time headlines to look at, but all three of them are very interesting. And a couple of them are going to be follow-ups to things we've been talking about on this channel, family. You don't want to miss this. So what you say without further delay, let's get into our weekend end time news update. Because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Alrighty, headline number one comes from the Watchers.News on April 19th, and this end time headline reads, Devil's Comet, 12P Ponds Brooks, reaches closest point to the sun on April 21st. Now, we've been talking about this comet a good bit on this channel, so let's check this out. On April 21st, 2024, Comet 12P Ponds Brooks, commonly known as the Devil's Comet, will reach its perihelion the closest point to the sun at a distance of 73 million miles. This celestial event will allow the comet to be visible just after sunset within the Taurus constellation, making its peak visibility period. Now, the Devil's Comet's closest approach to Earth will take place on June 2nd, 2024, when it will pass Earth at a distance of 144 million miles. And family, what you see on your screen right here is telescope pictures of the Devil's Comet. And in case you don't know why it's called the Devil's Comet, if you're new to the channel or you haven't heard, let me explain it to you real quick. It's called the Devil's Comet because it's exploded or erupted four times, and it's made it look like it has two horns on it, hence the name the Devil's Comet, and it has a green tail on it. Family, you know the Bible says in the last days we're going to see signs in the stars, sun, and moon. Well, we've been seeing a lot of them. It's not by chance that this Devil's Comet is soaring in the sky. It is visible right now with everything else going on in the world. I mean, come on, guys. Now let's jump to headline number two. And my friends, it comes from Zero Hedge on April 19th. And this end time headline reads, FBI warns of risk, a Chinese hack, A-T-T-A-C-K, on energy infrastructure. Now, guys, we got to get into this one. This is very interesting. Pay attention. So, speaking at the Vanderbilt Summit on Modern Conflict and Emerging Threats, Christopher Ray said this, and I quote, In case you didn't know, he's the FBI director, by the way. The PRC, People's Republic of China, has made it clear that it considers every sector that makes our society run as fair game in its bid to dominate on the world stage. And that plan is land low blows against civilian infrastructure to try to induce panic and break down America's will to resist. Now, Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, also explained that the Chinese state has taken a hybrid approach to its efforts to weaken the United States, involving cybersecurity, counterintelligence, sneaking people over the border, and much, much more. The motivation for these efforts, according to Ray, was driven by the CCPS's aspirations to wealth and power and the desire to seize economic development in the areas most critical to the Mars economy, including through illegal means such as theft. 
And with regard to the critical infrastructure specifically, Ren said this, The fact is, the People's Republic of China's targeting of our critical infrastructure is both broad and unrelenting, end quote. Now, family, what we have here is this, the FBI director telling Americans, be on alert, China's up to no good. So my question to you is this, do you think China will launch a cyber ATTACK on America? Let us know in the comment section below. Family, and don't forget, down at the southern border, a lot of Chinese-aged military males have been crossing into the United States of America. Think about that for a moment. Now to headline number three. And it comes from CBS News on April 20th. And this end time headline reads, House passes legislation that could ban TikTok in the United States. Guys, let's get into this one. So the United States House passed legislation Saturday that would ban TikTok in the United States of America if the popular social media platform, China-based owner, doesn't sell its states within a year. Family, this is kind of wild right here. I'm also on TikTok under Watchman Adam News. This is going to affect a lot of people, and a lot of people use TikTok to get the truth out there, and that's facts. Now listen to this next part. This bill passed 3658 as part of a larger bill related to sanctions on foreign adversaries. Family, in the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think this is censorship? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Well, family, that's our weekend end time news update for Saturday, April 20th, 2024. Guys, once again, let me say thank you for watching as your love and support means the world to us. And as always, we put a lot of time and work into these update videos. So you guys watching them, it means the world to us. Thank you so much. And family, if there's anything else that's happened over this weekend so far that we didn't mention that you want to drop in the comment section below, we greatly appreciate it. And remember, it's 11.59 p.m. Wake up, Maranatha, Luke 21:28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Family, keep on looking up. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. I know this was a quick video, guys. We got a lot going on with our outreach trip, so guys, just please try to understand. But thank you for once again for watching, guys. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family, because you see, guys, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And as always, you got any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. And remember, no request is too small, no request is too big for our God. And family, that's facts. Finally, if you want to make a donation to what we do here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, we have ways you can do so. Check the description box below. Always greatly appreciated, but family, as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. And family, if you could please pray traveling mercies over us tomorrow, we greatly appreciate it. Well, family, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. Family, we love you and keep on looking up. And remember, let's go Harpazzo. Take care, guys. <coughs>